Hi everyone, it's Gail. Welcome to another little episode of the um, making of ephemera. And I want to say hi and hugs first to Michelle, Sheila, Marge, and Robin. Thanks so much for watching my channel and thanks for commenting and everything. So I have to clear up a little something. This journal was made by my friend Shell at the Rambling Crafter. However, the ephemera included in it is from Happy Mails and all sorts of different sources, not just from Shell. Some of it is from Shell's. One of the things we're going to make today is from Shell that was included in my journal. But I just wanted to clear that up so that anybody who's made ephemera that we're going to play with um, so they don't feel like I wasn't giving them credit. So uh, we're going to try and do a couple things today. Um, I've skipped a few of these of these um, paper clips. You know, I'm not that great with on camera with the um, the grommets because I can't figure out my <laughs> crocodile. Oh, yeah, it's a challenge. So anyway, I've got markers in there. We'll maybe come back to those. I might have to practice off camera. And I can see I've got another grommet over here. So we're going to have to conquer it at some point. But let's just do some fun little easy things. Okay. So this was the pocket that was included in Shell's um, in Shell's journal, and um, I have made these myself. I actually have a video on um, making ephemera out of number ten envelopes, so we're gonna we're gonna do that today. So there's this one. Let's let's play. Let's do that. Um, let's see. And she's sewed around. Okay. I just have to leave it over here for reference kind of. Okay. So actually you can get two out of a number 10 because you can get one on that side, one on that side. Right. And it looks like she made hers about this wide. We're just gonna, I'm just going to go like this and we'll make one over here too. Um, one of the things I have done before is taken the number 10 envelope, oops, taken the number 10 envelope and um, folded it in half and actually wrapped it around a page like, like so, and then had the, the tuck here and the tuck here. So that's another idea, just an offshoot. But let's, let's do it this way. Let's do some do a little cutting here and um, we'll just make a couple of a couple of tucks here actually I'm gonna use the middle too because look at that we can use that that's no problemo okay so I was telling you earlier that I have all this awesome medieval mirage paper so we're going to play with it in covering these a little bit, I think. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, let me get something to glue on. And I have a brand new Uhu as of yesterday. I've been making some things off camera that, yeah. So, okay. So let's see, what do we want to do? Um... I'm looking at these thinking they might be pretty close to, there might be some in here pretty close to, say, to the right size. Well, that is exactly the right size. Okay, easy peasy. There are so, so many um, wonderful things in these Medieval Mirage kits. Ooh, there's a postcard one, is that? Excuse me, I'm just, I knew there was two there. <laughs> Couldn't get them apart. But I was thinking that's about the right size, isn't it? I'll take off a little on the top, but. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm feeling happy so far. Let's see, where's my, my little ruler? Let's. These are a little bit, um. A little bit small, 
but okay I'm think I'm rethinking this because I think I want them to the edge so that I can sew them now this one is great I can sew that easily okay okay let's see if there's something bigger in in the ephemera part or if I need, I think I'm going to need to go to a page, which is just fine. Oh my gosh, look at this one. How beautiful is this? This is the Illuminated Flora kit. And I will put med Medieval Mirage's um, uh, contact or her Etsy shop is what I'm trying to spit out. I will put her Etsy shop below. Oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Almost hate to use it, but you know what? That's the beauty of uh, digitals is I just will have more to use. I can just print more, right? Okay, I'm going to go here. And then that's going to go down there. Like, like so. I maybe could have given it a smidge more, but I think it'll be okay. So we're going to put that there. Like that. Might have to trim off a little bit too. And then we will just put this here. And I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to trace around it if I can find a pencil. There we go. Oh, my pencil is under my medieval mirage paper. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> okay, and we'll just cut that out and attach that. Um, it looks like Shell used um, scraps of scrapbook paper, which you could also use for this, but I'm kind of dying to play with this medieval mirage. Let's see. And she did. She did sew that on. Okay, good to know. And so, and then that, and then let's let's do this side for this one. Oh, I love the love the green stuff at the top. I mean, even if you're not into medieval, you, it doesn't it doesn't matter. This is just gorgeous paper in general. Let's just, let's just say that because, okay, I think I got a little bit better do on that one. And then we will, I'm just going to do it like this this time. Live and learn, right? Okay. Put that there. And then I think I'm just going to use this little piece and um, once again trace around it so that, because might as well, might as well use it, right? Oops. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see, what do I have to tell you? Well, my son-in-law left today, he and his brother that were staying here. At least so I assume since I got up and they were gone. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally missed saying goodbye because I was sleeping. But, you know, this girl, this girl needs her beauty sleep. Let's see, this is not going to work because it's too little. I kind of like the idea of using this with the center, or should I use this? I like this. So we're going to do it. We're going to just trace around that and do it. Okay. So this is my second video today. I'm excited about that because I would like to get a few ahead for when I'm in Denver, but I know I'm not going to make it totally because um, 
I mean, I'm not going to have enough videos to cover the whole time I'm there because I have volleyball to go to. So, oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Okay, so let's see. Let's give it a little tack down, shall we? And then, and then we'll do the sewing. Okay, I'm just going to give that just a bit in the middle because, of course, I don't want it on the edge where I'm going to sew. Let's see, she just, okay, okay, got it. I'll just give them enough sticky to, to stick down so that we can sew around them. Okay, once that's sewn, I'm going to trim that. That one, that one I got a little crazy on. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. So <laughs> I was telling Peggy, um, Peggy is coming to the meet and greet in Denver. I was telling her, my daughters are just going crazy with this idea of the meet and greet. And I, I hate to rein them in because they're having a lot of fun with it. But, oh my gosh, I told her I don't know what we have to expect. I said, if they keep going, we're going to have a disco ball and a live band. <laughs> but, yeah, oh, they're so cute, those two. And um, I love it that they are sort of making this their little project together. So that's just kind of fun. Okay, so one number 10 envelope and three tucks. So let's let's get the sewing machine over here and get ourselves a sewing here. Okay, move that for now. Scooch those over. Come here, you. Okay, just checking to see if I'm in frame there looks to be okay so first thing we need to do is um sew on the edge and it looked like oh where is it look like she zigzagged around that oh my goodness why can't i find it it's right here okay yep she did a little zigzag okay she did a little zigzag on this and then just plain on the rest so We'll go for that. We'll do the same. And of course, when you have multiple things to sew, you can just kind of go one by one and not have to undo everything. These are a little tricky because they're... They're shaped funny. We'll just go this way and then it won't be a problem. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got the... And then we can just snip them apart right here. And this one. And then what we'll do is give it a little sew around. And um, this time we'll do the straight stitch just to give us more room in the pocket, right? So I'm just going to sew this all the way around. Oh except I left too small of a string and I lost it. <laughs> oh, does that happen to you ever? It happens to me all the time. I get too I get too anxious to get it done and then I'm I'm not paying attention to have I pulled out enough thread or not or what. You know. But that's all right. I have new glasses so I can thread my needle like nobody's business here okay all right now we're doing straight stitch i 
I'm going close to the edge because I want the pocket to be as big as it can be, you know? Okay, then we'll just start the next one. That one I had to go in a bit just to catch the paper. I didn't go too far off the edge there. Maybe should have trimmed that one from the get-go. There I went off, but you know what? Just get back on. <laughs> That's all you do. Let's clip this one off so we have it. A little easier time turning this guy. Okay, all sewn around. Let's leave a long thread, what do you say? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop this over because we're gonna need it for the second project too. So look at us with three little tucks. Let's see, this one, I need to trim a skosh. That's just fine. Now, the only other thing left is, yep, you got it. Let's give it a little bit of a, an edging. This one especially, we have a little, little white envelope showing. Those are all just envelopes that we changed our logo when, logo when I was at work and um, couldn't use the old envelopes anymore. And so I brought like thousands home because I knew I'd use them. Might take me my rest of my life, but. <laughs> okay, so we have three little tucks very much like this one. So we can just put those on the edge of a page here is, here is the um, little flap tuck. And I didn't, I should probably ink those before, but we could go back in and do it. And then, um, yeah, and then we can just pick probably some medieval mirage uh, ephemera to stick in here. And it'll all just, it'll all just go. So, First one down for today. There we go. And the next one I took I took out of the book. We'll set these aside. And I'll show you the next one. And the next one came from Happy Mail. And it is this. It is this little um, tag. It's got a pocket on this side, a pocket on this side. It's got ephemera in it. And um, what she did is she took this receipt from my digitals. I think it might be, I can't remember if it's kit one or kit two of the receipts digital. So it's vintage receipts on my Etsy. So we're going to cut out that and that is our base. That's what she used for her base. So let's see what we can do to emulate what she's done here. Be fun. So, probably should have looked to see which one of my kits this was in, but you'll see it if you go on 
to my Etsy cinnamon tea. I'm going to pop these over to the side. Okay. So now we are going to decorate a little bit. So she has stuff in the pockets. We might, there's one there we might try. She has a couple things in the pockets. Okay. So what she did was she collaged on the back. So this is the back. Pocket on both sides flip on that side. So I got some sort of coordinating fabric. Not that one. That one's <laughs> not at all coordinating. Okay. But okay. So let's look at this side. Let's do this side first. Okay. So she inked around it being a girl after my own heart. So as I'm doing this series guys, and I, um, I show the various things that I've gotten in Happy Mail and stuff. Please do, if you see the video, please do comment and say that I sent you that, Gail, you know, so that we can give you credit. Because as they've come into my idea book, I did not label everything. It would have just been impossible. You saw my basket. I am blessed to get a lot of happy mail, but the downside of that is to, re you know, I can't always remember who sent what. Excuse me, I need a little sip of water. So our throat from yap, yap, yapping. Okay, so we've got a sticker here. We've got a Gale trim there. So let's see, where do I have just my, mm-hmm. Well, first of all, let's get, let's find um, a flower sticker to put on. First order of business. Um, I mean, we're not going to be able to be exactly like it because I don't have that sticker. <laughs> no, I don't. So we're going to, it's going to take on its own life, you know, as, as things do. Is this one maybe a little more like it? Uh, oh, tweezers. Where's my tweezers? Right here. I was thinking maybe this one was a little bit more similar. Okay, let's do that one or that one. Let's look at the trims and see which trim ends up speaking to us. Okay, I think most of my trims like that are in this in this one. The ones she used. I don't know if I have the exact one she used, but we'll look. We'll look. Oh, yep, I sure do. Here it is. Ta-da! Oh, and that's on sticky paper, so that's kind of nice. On the full size label, you know. Yeah, so there. So I think this one goes better. Okie dokie. We'll toss that one up there, put it away later. Okay, so, um, and then look at this piece of fabric is about the right size. It's kind of wrinkly, but I think it'll, it'll sew down okay, don't you? We'll hope so. Okay, so we can cut this about right there. Okay. This is fun. It's fun to try and make the same things, you know, as other people have made. And, you know, sometimes you don't have the exact same supplies or whatever, but you can find things that will be similar, I think. Okay, so we're going to just put that on there. Let's put the rows on while we're at it. And then we'll cut the fabric. Oh, come on. <laughs> I can't quite get it. <laughs> oh, there it is. It started. It started. <laughs> Starting is the hardest part of anything, isn't it? Oh, okay. So, okay. So we did that, right? We're, we're, we're on track. 
Look at this. Here's a piece of fabric that, oh, it's just a bit too tiny. That's okay. We'll use it on the other side. Okay. Well, I love this. This is so pretty. So let's, let's cut that. We'll cut that the right size and get that that rocking and rolling okay okay so we have we have that side so I'm not sure exactly how she how she did that both sides it looks like she might have sewn around and then zigzagged so I'm not quite sure we'll just know that's going there Let's look at this side and see what we need to do over here. We have to collage it. Okay, we have to do that before we sew on. Okay, so she you well, she used another one of my trims over here. So we'll do that. Um, is it this one? It is. This one. This one um, I don't have on sticky paper. So we'll just... Get that cut because we'll use another piece of fabric for a pocket over here. I kind of like to use this. So let's cut this to size or rip it to size or whatever. Okay, talk about awkward. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of want, I want this stuff. So how deep do we make it? Let's make it the same as this one. And so we'll cut it right here. Okay. All right. So then how far down do we need to cut this guy? Maybe about right there. Okay, so we're going to put that right there like she did. And then we're going to just collage. And then she, she added some cheesecloth under there. So that's something else to do. My husband just came in from mowing to see if I was ready for lunch, but I just am doing a video. So, probably eat without me, which is okay. And then, I wanted to get my video done in case he wanted to watch football today. So, okay. So, there's that on there. Um, and then she just used various things to collage with so we can do that let me get out my basket let's see what do I have I have that it's not quite wide enough bottom's wide enough okay maybe we could put that there um used a little music we could use a little music just a little bit of music oh that's just the right size too isn't that happy we'll just put that right there like that okay just kind of a, a nice rose something or another happen in there so what if we use this rose for that and then she had some just plainer paper I think I have what if I use this some of this doily I'm just gonna tear off the little points do I want those now I'll just kind of stick that somewhere. Maybe we'll just go like that. 
Okay. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to ink mine. I can't tell. I don't think she inked her collage pieces, but you know, that's part of making it at your own, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. We'll put this here. Oh, maybe move it down a skosh. There. Somebody asked in um, in a comment about their their blue uhu had turned white, and I think it's just an age thing. I think it just does that when it gets older. Gosh, that's such a pretty piece of paper. I hate to tear that out, but I'm going to. And that is where she put the um, cheesecloth behind. So let's grab some cheesecloth. Excuse my, excuse my arm across your face there. <laughs> let's see. Let's just grab a piece of it. Um, and then I'm just going to goop on some glue. Like that. She got it. She got hers very flat onto the paper. So we'll try to do that too. That doesn't matter because that's down in the pocket. And then this little piece is going to go on top. And then she has like a little picture of a girl right there. Let's see how that works. Okay. We'll just go up like that with that. And then we're going to, you know, what I think I'll do is I think I'll see what I might have in my little box here. That could go on there. Um, not sure why all that stuff's upside down so that I can't see what it is. Um, got that girl, but she's too big. know what that says but it's a little stamp somebody gave me I think that's cute let's just use that oops um <laughs> it's really hard to ink with your uhu glue note to self <laughs> okay so she kind of put that um it's kind of down in the pocket. Let's see where the pocket's going to go to. It's going to go to right there. She kind of went like this-ish. Okay, and then she took a pen and kind of went around it to... Um, what would you say to highlight it a little bit? Doesn't really do much on the, on there, but there. Okay. So far we're doing good. 
Okay, and then, so then we have our pockets. I think we're done collaging, so we need to get rid of that. Um, so we have our pocket, and then we need to make like a little, a little fabric flip up here. So, let's see. Let's use, let's use maybe some of this or some of that. Oh, there's a good piece. Okay. That covers a bit too much, doesn't it? So, what if, so fun. So I'm wondering if you guys are like, are you following along and making the same things with me or? How how we doing this series? How are tell me what you're doing? If you're making it along or if you're just kind of saving it for later or tell me what you're tell me what you're up to. Okay. I don't know. I think I want that a bit shorter cuz I kind of like the I'd like the little whatever stamp thing to show. I think I'll put that there. And I think I might. She's got a couple of like short strips. Like she's kind of got one like that. And what if we did, what if we did a little bit of this one? Okay. So we've got those kind of there. That's okay. That's similar. Okay. I think what we need to do is, um, get that sewn around how are we doing time wise oh we're doing great awesome okay so let's just do a straight stitch around and then yeah let's do that <laughs> okay i don't know where to start where would be the best let's try up here Okay, straight stitch, we're all ready to go. Let's do this thing. Oh, we can't stitch down the side though, or we'll get our we'll get our flap. So okay. That's, that's good thought. Glad I thought of that before I completely sewed down our fabric flip. Okay, let's just go like this then. And we'll go down the edge. to 
put on the other pocket. <laughs> Do you guys know what I did? <laughs> yeah, I ripped the pocket to make that. Okay, well, happily, we have more of that fabric. Oh, Gail. <laughs> you guys knew it, didn't you? You were probably going, Gail, Gail, no, no, no. Oh no, she just cut the pocket. <laughs> okay, well, crisis averted. We've got another pocket. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, so let's look at hers for a second. So um, then this is zigzagged and she's gone around again, but I think I'm going to zigzag down and just go up there. I don't need to go around twice, I don't think. And since I have on my, maybe she sewed before she put on her fabric flip. That could very well be. Okay, so we're just going to go in and we're going to do this as just a straight stitch. I did back stitch there because... I figured on both the pockets that's going to be kind of a point of tension so okay and then we're gonna zigzag up okay we got it. Oh my goodness, Gail. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Let's see how we did. Okay. We've got strings and strings. Let's get rid of our strings. All right. So there's our this side. And there's our this side. Okay. So now I need a um, safety pin. I think I have someone up here. Oh gosh, sorry guys, one second. I happen to have some gold ones and I think that would be cool. Once again, happy mail gift because you guys are so amazing and send me all sorts of things, uh, things to play. screaming in the, in the video oh <laughs> okay so then we've got our pin like she has a pin and she has it looks like three little just snippets of lace and as you know I have no shortage of those so let's see what we would like to use um ooh, that one could be fun what if we cut that in half and just use one of those Okay, I'm going to put that one on first, and then, and then what? Oh, here's a piece of this. Okay, and she did a little pink. I wonder if I have a little, I do have a little brown. What if I use that? Okay, let's see how that works. Okay. see okay and then she okay so it looks like she put this on you know put on her lace first yeah I'll put this in the middle I'm gonna bunch it up and then this oops okay and then she just did a little little bit at the top here like so okay okay <laughs> how fun okay that's all okay so now I was gonna show you so 
on this one, what she did is she took one of my, um, one of my trims and then she, I think she glued it on. She sewed, uh, she sewed a ruffle and then glued it on. So let's make one of those because we do have time. So here is, here's that very same, it's the very same one. Hers, hers came out, maybe she, I, I probably used my good paper and that's why mine's brighter. So, okay, so we have that at the ready. Let's see if we have, I have a million strips up here. I've got to have something that, I've got to have something that will work. Sorry, I'm talking, talking away from the camera. <laughs> Let's see. Um, just, just digging through. Let's see. this it's a bit it's a bit too wide but I certainly could could cut that couldn't I okay and I think if it's inked up it'll go decently with what we've got going on so let's do this let's let's cut that the right width <clears throat> And then I don't know how she sews her ruffles, but I usually go as I sew, but um, I might try and do it a little more scientifically. Just, okay. <laughs> it's gonna, there's such a tiny bit coming off that it's like, how do I get that straight? Um. Struggling, struggling. Okay, now I can maybe pull it out. So it's straight. I think I did it. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, so I think since it's paper, when I do fabric, I just scrunch it as it's going through the sewing machine. But since this is paper, I should be able to do it a little, a little more. Um, uniformly, I guess one would say. My tummy's growling. Time for lunch. <laughs> okay, let's give that a sew and see how we do. Um, what did she do? She just did. She did a little wavy. Oh, she did one of these. She did like. Let's try it. It's just a fancy stitch on the sewing machine. Okay, and I think it would work best to go this way I think I don't know we're just trying it okay okay it doesn't want to feed we go didn't really want to feed but it turned out great I'll show you in just a second okay Ugh. see turned out great awesome okay mine's not as long as hers but that's okay okay so then then we glue it onto here Glue them together, I do believe. 
And whoever made this ephemera is probably like, oh my gosh, she's doing everything wrong. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting a result. I don't know if it's the right result, but, you know. That's why I say no two people make something the same. And I put a lot of glue on there just because um, of the bumpy effect of this. Okay, there's our little piece. Now, of course, I want to ink it a little bit. <clears throat> and that's going to go in one of our pockets. Oh, that's fun. Okay. So now, I don't remember which side that was on. I think it was on this side because I think it's stuck up kind of right there. So we'll put ours on that side too. And then she just has a couple of journaling cards. And those were in this side as well. Maybe they were behind that. And then on this side, she had this little tiny envelope. And then she put some little snippets of the trims, of my trims in there. Um, so can we make a little tiny envelope like that? I don't know if I can. Probably. Okay, she's used ledger paper, which is and and it's very tiny. So I feel like it's a like a tiny I wonder if do I have anything like that in my Tracy Fox stuff? All my tiny things from her. No. this pocket. I wonder if we can make one out of this pocket. Let's try. Just for fun. Okay. So, I'm going to cut this. I just really, I want the piece of paper, kind of, is what I'm wanting. Okay. So, it's about this tall. So what if just kind of did that and then I'm going to cut it off about right here and I'm going to fold this a tiny bit. No measuring here. No measuring allowed. <laughs> It'll be fine. And I'm going to cut this side like so. And cut this side like so. And I'm going to cut these kind of at an angle. a little off. Okay. okay. It's still a little off. Okay. I'm going to cut this down a bit so we don't have as much bulk on the inside. And then we're going to have that little pocket. I want to distress. <clears throat> oh 
Okay, let's glue it. And once again, I'm still at the end of this. I need to replace this for doing videos because, and then just use it on the side because it's really at the end. Okay, I'm going to put a little line right on this edge and a line on this edge. Fold those and then go up and over and up. And there we go. <clears throat> All right, and then she used some little pieces of my trims, which I do believe I have in my get rid of all of this. Thank you, Tracy. That worked out perfectly. Okay, so there, it's not quite the same, but similar. Let's see what we have. Um, do I have little pieces of anything? I thought I did. Oh my goodness, look at this ephemera thing. It's just, it's just full of ephemera. Well, blue's not going to work super well. This color would be nice. Oh, that's... No, we don't want that. I don't want to use the ones that are... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's some little ones. <clears throat> this one would be good. And that one. Don't want to use blue. But just looking for some other ones that are different size. Maybe we'll just use this and this. Okay. Oops, sorry guys, I just hit you with my head. Hope I didn't knock you for a loop. Okay. Okay, I'll figure out my ephemera folder later because it's just... I really like this small one, too. Um, yeah, it's a mess. Okay, let's just use those. I'll worry about that later. Okay, so this, this, and this. And is that going to fit in there? Oh, my gosh. Yes, like it was made. Okay, so she just kind of cut them at an angle. And she distressed them. And stuck them in the envelope. Oops. Cut it at an angle. Distress it. There it is. Okay, so in hers, she had this on the side of the of the fabric flips, and it's just all sorts of fun there. Yay, yes, we did it. We did it, we did it. So there's the original. There's our creation. There's the original. And there's ours. I think I'll wait to put um, to put uh, journal cards in there until I know exactly what project I'm using this one for. But there we go. We made some more ephemera. And then, just to recap, we have our tux. Our Medieval Mirage tux as well. So thanks everyone so much and we will see you in the next video and uh, I don't know what we'll be doing but we might be just continuing on our ephemera too. So thanks everybody. Have a grateful day. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.